So today I woke up at 3 a.m. Drive straight to the venue, unload at 5 a.m. The tour does get smaller, even though we go, how much more can we do this? But, you know, tonight's probably our highest selling night we have ever had. Sometimes it gets a bit surreal when we kind of go, well, we didn't think this would run more than one or two nights at a little theater in Newtown. I remember coming here when I was 12 to see shows and you don't really realize the back of house mechanics you just see from an audience, the magic. Basically how I describe the show, it's a, it's a children's show for adults. We're not a political show, so it's just two hours of just pure escapism. We've got big plans for the show and where we could take it, because we know what fans want. Helmets on, please. Uh, just the tiniest amount. Yep. Cool. Okay, can we run the storming, please? This show, I really love it. It's actually very fun. It's a good time. It's very difficult at the same time. It has a lot of energy, but it's worth it. It's my first Buildesk, actually. My first experience in Buildesk. Ah, super excited. Yeah, really, really excited. It's probably the most beautiful theatre that we've performed in, although we've performed in a lot of beautiful theatres. Um, yeah, so super excited. Like, if you're at ease and if you're feeling confident, then that puts the audience at ease, yeah. it makes them have confidence in you. Um, and if you're not like grounded within yourself, like your feet can get wobbly and you just like, you might anticipate moves, but if you're like grounded and ready to go, you're ready, you're you ready to go. I want you to around your Shot. forehead, okay. Okay. So then, like spacing out. Oh, um, well, well. Show wouldn't be nothing without all the performers, all the craftspeople, um, choreographers, cast, everything just all them come together to actually make the shows. I'm ready. Okay. But the biggest people are the fans. There is no demographic. Like, it's like 50, possibly 60% women, you know? Couples, big groups. They start at 18 and they go into the 60s, you know? And like, it's. Star Wars fans are Star Wars fans, you can't put a label on it, it's so mainstream. We try to really take the show to the next level, you know, offer a unique experience. You just can't come in with a Mickey Mouse operation. If you're presenting something like Star Wars, people have expectations. <laughs> How's it from this side? Pretty smooth. So far. 
it's my third show tonight, so I'm still like trying to adjust and understand what to do with Darth Vader because it's such an important role. Like I really want to give my best for this performance tonight. this ingrained man like it's I do think in 400 years they'll still be talking about Star Wars the same way we talk about Shakespeare I'm not saying quality wise I'm not comparing him to Shakespeare but as far as cultural impact most definitely